This is the Star News Brief. I'm Mark Gitau. Members of county assemblies have upped their bid to align their pay with their counterparts in the Senate and National Assembly. In the fresh efforts, the county lawmakers hold that their salaries should be paid at 43% of what governors earn to better overset the governor and resist bribes in a bid to have their salary review so they get 397,320 shillings. MC has argued that MPs earn at the same rate compared with President's pay. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazetti.com. Medical services in public hospitals are set to get messy after doctors announced they will start their strike starting Monday, saying talks with the government had collapsed. KMP Secretary General Dav Jatela told this town Sunday that he had told all the interned doctors not to go to work on Monday but instead travel to Nairobi for the union's meeting at Fungamano House on Tuesday. And President William Ruto has urged the Western world to stop finger pointing and work together to confront climate change. The President said climate change poses a threat to all nations that must now work together or perish together. He said climate change is influencing every conversation across the globe, citing education, water provision, agriculture, trade, security and health. There was drama when Interior Cabinet Secretary Kiture Kindiki stopped the planned deportation of a Ghanaian national who is a witness in a 130 million shillings fake gold case. Stewart Tom had been hauled to Jomo Kenyatta International Airport on Friday, May 5th, in readiness for his deportation when Kindiki was informed he was a key witness in a case where an American businessman has been swindled out of cash. Kindiki had earlier on been told to sign his deportation order, which he did. The Fokikui Member of Parliament Kimani Shungwa, 45 years, the humble beginnings as the son of a bush and peasant farmer back in Gikambura village, Kikui constituency, taught him that one will never go wrong by telling the truth. The National Assembly Majority Leader says he's driven by a desire to make an impact, a positive one, and be the change that I want to see in my country and around the space I live and work in. He restated this when the star tracked him down for an exclusive interview amid his busy schedule last Thursday. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper with only 40 shillings through www.mgazetti.com.